Welcome to Decosmic.com, it's me Beyonder and our special featured guest for today is none other than Miss Speech to Bell. Okay, so speech, for all those who don't know who you are, tell us about yourself. Um, I'm a rapper from South London, signed to Big Dada, I have an album out now called Speech Therapy. Okay, so now um, we just mentioned a little bit about the album, um, it's just dropped. What's the feedback been like? Um, the feedback has been good. The, the press um, uh, has been very impressive. Um, I think journalists like to write about me, um, which is good. And quite a varied amount of press as well, like South London Press, the Times, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, the feedback has been good. The, um, I've listened to the album. Um, pretty fantastic you know um and um there was some some of the some of the things that have come to mind when i've been listening to it it's it's very it's a very um open and honest album you know it's uh, very rare you actually get um kind of like performance writers kind of like bearing their soul as it were in the way that in which you do um did you find um writing the album very cathartic or um you know, um, what was kind of like, what was the the motivation, or did it just flow like that to to be so open? Um, yeah, I think the motivation behind it was completely selfish. It was I was writing songs to make me feel better and to give me some sort of clarity. Um, like in the same way, what what, what music is to me, um, I might be going through something and. I turn on a certain song and, and I start singing it and I just say, hey man, this, this ain't nothing, it's nothing, just keep it moving and so, you know, that's what music done for me and, that, and that's the same way I use music. So for you, what, what what's your, if you have, you know, is there a favourite uh, track on the album or? Um, I, 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 I wouldn't say there's a favourite track because they all um, are sort of reliving it's a memory for me. Um, there's tracks, uh, the track that stands out probably is the track Speech Therapy because it, it became the concept of the whole album. Um, it really um, was a song that made the whole album make sense to me. And, and then when this album made sense to me, then I was able to, to relay it. Like I can talk about what this album means now because I understand it and that song was a trigger for that. Um, but probably my my favourite line in the song, I think, which sums up a lot about me, is in better days, and I say, I've got a half cup of hope and I'm sipping slow. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned in, in the album a lot, you speak about your um, your mother and obviously her importance to you. Um, what I found really interesting as well is that you um, speak about your father a lot, even though you expressed to us that he was never there. Was that, was that something that you were aware of at the time you were writing? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, it wasn't even until afterwards that and people said to me how much he was mentioned in it. Um, and it, it is interesting. It's like, you know, the, the, those are the two most important people um, when you come into this world. And the, uh, for all the time you're in it as well. Do you know what I mean? I think. And it, it's about the, the, the have and the have nots. You know what I mean? Those two, two, two things that are equally important things you do have and the things you don't have and uh, my mum and dad seem to be the, um, the, the metaphor for, for that. I, I, I come from sample beats, being in a friend's, being in the studio with my mates, chopping up beats, rapping on them, so I, I, I do love that but the songs were mostly already written, um, you know, can you take a song like Daddy's Little Girl and find a sample that's going to fit that and chop it in the right way? that I could lay those lyrics down and that song would have the same effect. I don't think so, do you know what I mean? I don't think there's, um, that's something that uh, you need to have a musician there that you explain the concept of the song, they hear the words and they say, okay, I know what you're talking about. So when they hit those notes, they're hitting it because they feel it, which is something that you can't get a, a computer to do. Um, in the same way, a song like Speech for Every. Like, I can't think of a, of a, of a of a hip hop group I could put that on. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's 
so yeah, uh, it, it was definitely a conscious decision. Album's out, you got your band together, you, you know, um, you're out gigging, letting people know who you are and what you're about, you know. Um, were you really looking forward to playing? Um, Brixton Academy. It's not in the, it's not in, the, it's not in the pipeline at all at the moment. But that's the one I want to do. Mm. That sounds good. Big venue, peeps will be down. Exactly. It's, it's. I've grown up seeing Brixton Academy. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've, I've passed it too many times to even uh, try and count and. Um, it's always been something that struck a chord in me, like, yeah, one day I'd like to, to play in there. There's, there's different songs within people, like you mentioned, uh, Finish This Album. Somebody else might mention Body Love, which are two very different songs. But, you know, they've compelled you to, 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 to mention them equally. So, um, just listen to all of it. I yeah, that's and Check out Bad Boy as well, Bad Boy very very bad track you know um i had the pleasure of seeing you perform that live as well you know which is even better you know um how did that track come about anyway um that song was like in terms of the writing it was it was always something i wanted to write about um having friends and and you know male friends watching them you know you spend a lot of time with somebody and um, I'm somewhat of a, of a like, uh, uh, I like to have things to study, especially different types of people. And um, I have w one particular friend who we spent, used to spend a lot of time with. And um, it was interesting to see how confident and insecure he was at the same time. And how um, tough and how soft he was. And do you know what I mean? Those, you know, how egotistical he was, but also um, that same insecurity, which, you know, it's a very thin line, and uh, I, I just wanted to tell his story. Um, it's not exactly his story, but he's, you know, the things I mentioned in the song, like watching him shadow box, um, you know, the posters in his wall, driving around on his moped, being as well. I wanted to tell the story of, of, of a guy that's doing all the things that society says is wrong, but also um, has such great ability, um, a very, ta a very talented, very smart, um, smarter than his counterparts, you know, they're doing one thing and he's doing it on a whole other level because he's smarter than them, even though it's all wrong, <laughs> do you know what I mean, but yeah, I just want to tell that story, but without judging in the same way, like without saying, you know, and without glamorising as well, I didn't want to do that, I didn't want to have something that a, a young guy can listen to and feel like yeah I want to be that where can we um, catch up with you like are you online um. yes um, I'm on Facebook probably the most um, that's the speech to bell um, the website speech to bell.com the myspace speech to bell music um, all of those way you know all of that you can catch up with me I'm starting a blog I'm going to start updating onto the website um but yeah, just um, holler at me on, on any of those things. You can hear the music on the MySpace and also actually YouTube. Ecosmic.com, it's me beyond that. It's the lady herself, Speech to Bell. Do you want to say bye? Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Bye-bye. Take care now. Peace.